You use fingerprints to unlock your smartphone, your tablet, your laptop, maybe even your front door if you're fancy. Now, Hyundai is about to release the first car with a biometric sensor built into the door handle. The upcoming 2019 Santa Fe SUV was shown off at an auto show in China last week, and it actually has two fingerprint sensors. There's the one in the handle I mentioned, and another in the ignition button. Really though, it's the one in the door that's most interesting. Hyundai says multiple owners will be able to register their encrypted fingerprints, which is useful for anyone who shares their car with a spouse or family. Then, depending on who logs in, the car can automatically apply a whole slew of personalized settings, everything from seat positions to the angle of a rear view mirror. Hyundai says a future update could also allow for personalized temperature, humidity, and steering settings. Understandably, some of you might be feeling skeptical about the security implications. For what it's worth, Hyundai says the system has an error rate of one in 50,000. That's the same figure that Apple claims for its Touch ID sensors. If that comparison is accurate, it seems less likely that someone would impersonate you and more likely that your finger press won't register and you'll have to open the car with, you know, an old fashioned key. It remains to be seen how reliable the system is, but regardless, it's fair to say this is an unusual setup. No other vehicle has a fingerprint sensor built right into the handle. The Tesla Model 3, one of the highest tech cars around, can use a smartphone to unlock the car. Meanwhile, other automakers, including Hyundai, are working on a so-called virtual key standard that's not out yet. As for that ignition sensor, other cars can already use the driver's fingerprint to start up the vehicle. The 2019 Santa Fe will be available sometime in quarter one and in China to start. Hopefully, that timing means by the time this comes out, drivers will more or less be done with glove season. We'll see you tomorrow with more Engadget Today.